Globe, do you have a message for your fans right now, Mr. Depp? I'm scared to death. <laughs> I'm frightened and I don't know what to do. I'm confused and I want to go home. <laughs> Game over. Johnny Depp exposed Amber for destroying his penthouse. Amber Heard has caused Depp so much pain that fans are beginning to wonder if Depp would ever recover from all the terrible things Amber's done. And now she's been exposed for destroying Depp's penthouse and pointing accusing fingers at him. So how true is this? Will Amber pay for this wreckage? Keep watching to know more. Details have shown that Amber wrecked Depp's penthouse and blamed Depp for it. The internet has found more smoking gun evidence that Amber Heard and her friends, Ms. Pennington and Mr. Drew, staged the scenes of destruction that they later testified were caused solely by Mr. Depp, as he rampaged through the penthouses, swinging a magnum-sized bottle of wine, causing a lot of damage as he went. When providing photographic evidence in support of her allegations, Ms. Heard inadvertently submitted two photographs of the same staircase landing in Penthouse 5 that included a small area of overlap in the respective pictures. A UK correspondent for Pop Topic, Andy, reported. When providing photographic evidence in support of her allegations, Ms. Heard inadvertently submitted two photographs of the same staircase landing in Penthouse 5 that included a small area of overlap in the respective pictures, a UK correspondent for Pop Topic, Andy, reported. Within that overlapping area, Andy added, spillage that can be seen in one photo is missing in the other, and broken glass is moved and or added between photos. Andy asserts that the photographs given by Ms. Heard gives irrefutable proof that she, Ms. Pennington, and Mr. Drew staged the scenes of destruction. The first photograph below shows the entirety of the aforementioned landing, and although not immediately apparent, the second photograph shows a small part of that same landing with two steps that lead to the mezzanine level. And although not immediately apparent, the second photograph shows a small part of that same landing with two steps that lead to the mezzanine level, Andy said. Even a cursory look at that part of the landing seen in the second photo would suggest differences when compared to the equivalent area in the top right corner of the first photo. However, the two photos are of low resolution and are in fact partly cropped, and thereby do not reveal the whole picture. On their own, they neither give irrefutable proof that the scene in the first photo has been embellished, nor indeed that the landing scene in both photos is the same one. The above diagram shows two reddened photos along with two labeled magnifying sections that conclusively prove that the landing shown in both photos is indeed the same landing. And directly below the photos are two stills taken from a 2008 walkthrough video of Penthouse 5 before refurbishment. The two stills are of the same sections of the staircase as the corresponding photos above, and again clearly demonstrate that the landing shown in both photos is the same landing. As if that wasn't enough, Amber testified that it was she who took all the photos of the damage of the property. However, the testimony of Mr. Drew given on day 12 of the UK libel trial contradicts that of Ms. Heard, in that Mr. Drew testified that it was in fact he who took all the photos. So many lies. And the interesting part is that they just couldn't say for a fact who took the photos. And this has proved that there's a high probability that Amber and her friends staged the wreckage. Regardless of who took the photographs, what is crucial is that Mr. Drew and Ms. Heard, by their own testimony, were both present at the scene when it was being staged, and hence were both complicit in that staging," Andy writes in his report. Although Mr. Drew gave a very accurate description of the damage caused to Penthouse 5 on the 12th day of the trial, with the same certainty he could not say whether the damage was caused before the first two LAPD officers arrived at the apartments. This was most likely due to the fact that they were unaware of LAPD body cam footage that showed that there was no damage done to the apartment and Johnny Depp was out of town. This is just further proof that Amber misled the officers that came to the house that evening. Furthermore, the metadata of those same photos reveal that the photos were taken at 2131, just 12 minutes or so after the two officers had left the apartment, again making it impossible for Johnny Depp to have caused the damage. Other oddities suggest that the metadata may have been altered to make it appear as if the photos were all taken at the same time. It is not only near implausible that eight such photos could have been taken within one minute, but near impossible that all eight were taken within the same minute. And even less possible when considering that within that same time, the scene was further embellished by adding wine spillage and removing and replacing glass fragments. 
This raises the question of the very real possibility that the photo metadata had been doctored, the report concludes. Johnny Depp testified that he didn't pick up a bottle of wine and start smashing things, and even Mr. Drew, throughout all his testimony, statements, court, and deposition, didn't once claim to have seen him even carrying a bottle of wine as he entered Penthouse 5, despite giving detailed accounts of Mr. Depp's alleged aggressive behavior toward him. The 22-page report also discusses how the biased judge dismissed crucial evidence, such as Heard's own recorded confession and police statements that contradicted the testimony of Heard and her friends, despite having already disparaged evidence. So there you have it, one of the many ways Amber created a disaster and made Depp take the fall. See you in the next video!